Today I'm starting the bathroom. <laughs> oh, just the bathroom remodel. Hello everyone and welcome back to our farm. We are Jordan and Kaisa Blaylock. For years we had been dreaming of having our own farm. And then one day, we bought this old farmhouse today. It's full of stuff. We happened upon this gorgeous 1920 craftsman style farmhouse on 12 and a half acres. And we bought it. As is, full of stuff and in need of lots of love. So we packed up our kids, we sold our house, and we moved out to one of the barns in a little vintage travel trailer while we restore, renovate, and add on to this beautiful old home. All right, you guys, it's demo day for the upstairs bathroom. that taken out this wall area here another chunk of wasted space that we found I assume they used it as a, a chase to put the plumbing in but the plumbing was just in the two by fours so I don't know why all this space was wasted but we just gained two square feet so win for us but that's a good half inch there I can stick my fingers under it and the reason that is, is because we have the floor joists overloaded by this bathtub. Here's how not to run your drain pipes. You never notch out the floor joists to run the drain pipes. You just cut a hole in the center. And make sure you're at least two inches from the top and two inches from the bottom. And then you can run your drain pipe through your joists. If you notch out your joists like this, you're compromising the strength and they want to bow down even more than they do naturally. Oh, I'm moving the bathtub by myself. Don't fall out the window. Here it goes. This is not fun and very crazy. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. Good thing we we're doing something different there. <laughs> we wanted to try and salvage this bathtub and use it or sell it so somebody else can use it so we're not creating more garbage. But it is far too dangerous and heavy for just two people to take it down by themselves. So I'm gonna Get my safety glasses on, some earmuffs, and a sledgehammer. I'm gonna break it. Take it out in pieces. It's a bomber, but that's what we have to do. Take it off the marketplace now? Yeah, someone's probably gonna message us if they want it now. Here are some things for our new bathroom. 
Are you guys ready to see what we got? So we want to show you guys the light fixtures that we're going to put up in the bathroom because we think they're really cool. They have a vintage charm to them. Look at that, on, they opened one. Good job, honey. They go on the either side of the mirrors. What do you guys think? Missy likes them. Miss, how about this? Remember that the ceiling used to come to here. Man eating spiders up here. <laughs> but now we have vaulted it all the way up to there. So this will be a white shiplap, and then we're going to have these exposed and like um, raw wood. And it is going to be so awesome in here. So this is a good size bathroom to begin with, but with the ceiling uh, so low. Um, the downstairs has a really great ceiling height. It's big and spacious, so we kind of wanted to mirror that and do something a little extra and a little different up here. So we have vaulted the ceiling. We've taken out the shiplap on the ceiling, and there's going to be shiplap up, and it's just kind of a pitched roof now um, inside, which I think is going to be so cool. So when you walk in here, it's going to be a grand bathroom with the vanity here and over here is gonna be a 100 year old clawfoot bathtub that we got off the Facebook marketplace for a really good deal. And I'm very excited about that. And then we're gonna have white hexagon floor tiles with charcoal, like deep charcoal gray grout. So it's really gonna pop. And so now I just need to find uh, the mirror or mirrors that will go over our vanity. 
and we have our light fixtures picked out as you saw we have our sinks which instead of the antique sinks we actually bought because it's really hard to find two matching vintage sinks in good condition for a good price so we actually bought our sinks new and they have a much shallower basin so we're gonna have to uh do less modification to the mexican credenza than we would with the antique sinks and these ones have the same charm they're really functional and in great condition so i think that they'll look awesome and i hope you guys think they will too and i'll show you those as soon as we get them in so this is how the bathroom is coming along we're replacing the shiplap here where they had that weird patch probably from a medicine cabinet originally. You could see where they originally had a little sink right there. And you can see where, well, you used to be able to see where the bathtub was right here. It is very hard to have two small kids and really no bathroom. So we'll be excited to get that done. All right. And so now we're working on getting this fur floor up, which we're trying to salvage the patch in downstairs. And we're going to put in a uh, new joist next to these uh, compromised ones. some joists up here. I've put this temporary beam in, supported by these. Your new barrettes. Hmm? Your new barrettes in your hair. Mama, 
ponies fangs. My pony fangs. Is that dirt on your cheek from playing out in the garden? Paint day? I'm gonna do some primer and then paint after the primer dries. You can't tell, but I'm smiling right now. Got it all painted in here. I did a bunch of Sherwin Williams stain blocker on this wall here. I've got 11 coats on that stain that you see in here from where the chimney smoke was staining it. Uh, and then two coats of Sherwin Williams Promar 200 in here. And it looks great. Time to unmask. This is the bathtub that we picked up off the marketplace and it had well, seven layers of paint on it. Seven layers of paint on it. So we are in the process of stripping that paint and this is the product that we're using. It's working good. It has no harmful fumes, no extremely caustic chemicals in it so it's safe to do inside and it seems to be working really good
pink in the bathtub. You're doing a good job. I'm doing it over here too. Uh huh. Okay. Let me okay, we've recruited our neighbor, Elizabeth, to Hi. help us move this bathtub up the stairs. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I bet you want to see more, huh? Well, stay tuned for part two and we'll show you how it turns out. It's all done. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. Smash the like button. Thanks for watching our video. Attempt to move the bathroom up the stairs. Bathtub. Oh. All my starter tiles. Cut and go. Cut and fly. Is that a joke? No, I'm just waiting. So as we get ready to demo the bathroom, we're taking out finally the stuff out of the medicine cabinet. And we just wanted to show you some of our favorites. Dr. Lion's Tooth Powder. Drucker's Revelation Tooth Powder. Do you guys think that this one's still good? Yeah. We might give it a try. Maybe it'll make you cough. Here's some leg makeup. 